Hi, welcome to this uh, system here. We are working now on uh, one of the uh, version, a new version of Arch Labs. Uh, so at the moment, 3.4 is available on SourceForge, and we're working on uh, a new edition 3.6, so so you can have it uh, available very soon. Um, just wanted to make a quick tutorial because of um, this menu here. So we can edit this menu in open box we have this menu.xml or we can edit it with a graphic user interface which is okay but uh, we can also use ob menu generator but it's not in here so that can quickly change and i'm going to show you how what's the difference ob menu xml uh, let's go first to the, the open box folder so dot config and then um, we are going to look for open box and here you have it so we are working with this one and this one is the automatically generated one the only thing you have to do is rename this one let's put original behind it or something something that, something that you can remember but it will not work anymore since now uh, since we have changed it and this one we're gonna change in menu.xml so this is gonna be our new menu but we have to activate it so it's still the old one here so activating here can still be done with here open box and restart there's also a little shortcut to do that and I don't know if we can find it quickly maybe in a new window is easier so somewhere down there is also the restart from open box which is control shift backspace Control shift backspace control s escape is something else but you'll find it in the list it's up there let's not waste time here it is open box restart control shift backspace so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna press those keys let's take the menu so it's visual for you restart it and then we have this new menu as you can see it's a similar menu but it's actually a new one when I click here, right mouse click, it's, this is similar, but this is all new. So this is now a um, generated menu, meaning if you remove something or you install something, it gets added. Only if we go here, so we have here four elements, we can generate a pipe menu, meaning if you choose this, then every time you press with the right mouse click, then it's generated, it's, it's automatically a new one. If we have a static menu, then installing and removing will not change the menu, but it's, it's easier to load, it's faster to load. So that's interesting. And um, pipe menu with icons is when you want icons to show or a static menu with icons. So the main goal of this tutorial is how do you switch from the one menu to the OB menu generator back to the other one so we can generate a static menu or a pipe menu with icons or without icons and in if you change the icon set you can refresh it so that's easy um, maybe we should change back again so you see how that goes as well so this was the ob menu generated one and let's go back to the original oops and at the end you say original gone reloading first time i did this i went to the preferences open box and restart this time i'm going to use Control shift backspace and there you have it it's again gone ob menu generator is gone so we're actually using again this file here okay have fun using arch labs and uh, hear you on the forum or github or google plus